Hi everyone, um, my name is Meera. Before I begin, I just like to say that I'm in the middle of my college exams right now, hence the tired eyes and the unshampooed hair. <laughs> uh, I made this presentation at 3 a.m. last night <laughs> and uh, I was of course highly caffeinated. So um, yeah, please just cut me some slack. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I was going to give this presentation um, or this talk, but I know that I gained a lot from my experience here at Fedora, and I wanted to share that with other people. Um, I know it's quite early for uh, some of you, so I'm very grateful for everyone who is here. Okay, so name covered, okay, former Outreachy intern. So I became a part of Fedora through Outreachy. This summer, I was an intern with the design team, and I worked on improving and uh, creating designs for Fedora's initiatives and events. Um, so I'm just going to show some of the stuff that I worked on during my internship. So I made this um, budget uh, uh, template and um, these infographics. This is actually for the DNI team. This is my favorite one. <laughs> And uh, there's also mention of Fedora Women's Day here. Um, I started working on the zine. Um, so this was a cover concept and a couple of artworks. And uh, this is actually a project, I am, I think, for the winter cohort of Outreachy. So that's exciting. And um, just uh, some other stuff that I worked on along the way. Uh, I also gave a talk and uh, a and held a workshop on Fedora badges during Nest 2020. So I uh, I took Marie's uh, badges design workshop and I gave a talk on the basics of Inkscape and did a little demo. So that was really fun and it's actually on YouTube right now on Fedora's uh, official channel. So if anyone wants to see, uh, they can go right ahead. Uh, so, uh, if I want to talk about my biggest biggest accomplishment here at Fedora, um, it's actually an invisible one, and I don't know. I don't think a lot of people know about this, but it was overcoming imposter syndrome. Well, sort of overcoming imposter syndrome. Uh, so to okay, so to give you guys a little bit of background, I. Uh, a couple of years ago, I decided to pursue the engineering track. And um, from that moment onwards, I received a lot of friction from the people around me, my friends, my family, the community. Uh, people would tell me that I was not meant for this and I should pick something easier, something that is that I, uh, that is more fitting for a woman. I, of course, ignored all of this. Uh, and then I got into a really good engineering college. But um, by that time, I had heard that I wasn't worthy or I wasn't good enough so many times that I'd actually started to believe it. And so when I got into my college, I felt like I wasn't worthy of this opportunity because that's all I had been told. I was patronized, I faced latent sexism, harassment, microaggressions, mansplaining, everything a woman or a minority in the STEM field is subject to. And all of this um, sort of contributed to my imposter syndrome. And I started to feel like I was a fraud, that I was an imposter. And um, to overcome that and and as a result i started to work more because i wanted to prove that i was worthy of the opportunities uh, that i was getting and um, you know that i'm actually smart enough to do this i actually can um do more than you guys give me credit for so around the same time i started my own business i am very good at making stuff like painting and crafts. And uh, I had an Instagram page that I turned into a very profitable business. I was also approached by a company. Yeah, I was also approached by a 
company that was sim that with a sim in a similar field and i actually worked part time as their creative director i participated in various clubs in my college in various event organizing teams i took workshop i headed my college's art club uh, i volunteered i was trying to get good grades and somewhat ac uh, accomplishing that and um, i did everything i could but it still wasn't enough i still felt like i was not working enough or that i didn't actually know anything and i was just faking my way through everything um i felt like an imposter uh i never realized why i overworked so much until i actually read about imposter syndrome or is and i realized that i identify with all the symptoms of is um also one more thing that contributed to my imposter syndrome was that failure was not an option for me for ethnic or gender minorities in a field like stem failure is very is a very like critical thing you, you can't afford to fail because if i fail then it's not smira who isn't fit for this field it's a woman i will be reduced to my gender and i will be used as an example or as a cautionary tale for other women or other people of color who are trying to enter this field and uh, so i had this added responsibility of being a woman a female engineer or of uh, or uh, an a person of color in this field and when i actually applied for the outreach in, outreach internship there is a contribution period and i worked really hard i uh, used to stay up all night um, i actually flipped my schedule completely because i wanted to integrate myself in the community better i used to attend the social hours and that was at like 4 am in the morning for me so i used to go like i used to attend the social hour then uh, work more on my contributions go to sleep then wake up in time for college and then do it all over again every day for weeks and when i actually got selected for this internship i was really happy but my first thought was why like why was i selected there were obviously like people who were way more deserving than me and i don't actually do like good work i i i don't think i am a that good a designer that people like i can actually be selected for an uh, for a design internship i forgot and neglected all the hard work that i had put in and i felt like a fraud and an imposter so yeah i don't know if um Mary knows this. I will after this she will uh, but so we used to have these meetings. Mary was my uh, mentor and we used to have these weekly meetings where she would discuss and give me feedback on uh, my work and whatever I had done the previous week. And um I used to be so scared before every meeting. Uh I used to sit right here and I used to be shaking. like anything i used to be so nervous because i felt okay this is the meeting that she's going to call me out she's going to discover that i'm actually a fraud i don't know what i'm doing i'm not working enough i uh, and this is a meeting that she's going to drop me as an intern and i that was that was very that was a very bad experience for me but every meeting without fail Marie used to tell me that I was doing an amazing job for 3 months every meeting she used to appreciate my work and that helped me start this journey of overcoming is uh because when someone tells you for 3 months that you're doing an amazing job you you tend to start believing them like it was not instantaneous but there was a there was a brief period where i actually started thinking am i doing a good job really um and i started to think maybe maybe i am and then whenever uh, any of my work would be uh, displayed or posted in a public forum like the community blog or uh, a telegram group people from the community 
would uh, show their appreciation and compliment my work and that would add to like that would help me right because uh, some some person uh, some across the globe who has never even met me is actually telling me that I'm doing a good job so I think I might be doing a good job Right, and so that is how the community, my mentor Marie and the community, Fedora community, helped me start my journey of overcoming IS. Um, people don't like realize, I didn't realize actually that my confidence had been destroyed completely because of IS. And until I recognized and acknowledged that yes, I am going through this thing where this voice inside my head is telling me that I'm not doing a good enough job, but I have to be stronger than that voice. It's actually not the truth, right? I had to actively, I still do. I have to tell myself because my natural instinct is to just uh, be like, I don't know this. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a fraud. I, I shouldn't be here. And uh, I have to actively counter that. IS affects your confidence so much. For such a long time, I actually believed that I was not worthy of the opportunities I was getting. And it affected how I saw myself. And it affected how I presented myself to, to other people, to prospective employers. I saw myself as someone who had lugged their way or fluked their way into, fit, into an amazing place like Fedora. And uh, it's not it's not that I'm completely over this. Um, I'm, I'm look uh, like for example, I'm looking for design internships for next year, and I look at all these amazing opportunities, these listings, and my first thought is, why would they ever take me? Why would they ever pick someone like me? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, there are way more way more people people who are way more qualified than me out there who would be deserving and who would actually be picked for this job or for this internship and uh, so that is that is for me the next step in overcoming is it is being confident enough to present myself as a capable and worthy candidate and i'm going to take that step right now <laughs> so this is how i'm going to see myself and how i'm going to present myself so if you or anyone you know is looking for a profession designer with an amazing work ethic, excellent design skills, and a great aesthetic sense, then I'm the person for the job. It took me a really long time to believe that, but I think I do now. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so that, that's the end. Um, I'm gonna stop presenting. Uh, that was that was a little that was a little tough, but yeah, I got through. Um, okay, let me just go through the comments. Hi, Hi Marie. Okay, you almost had me in tears over here. <laughs> Honestly, oh it was really it was really touching to hear that that story, and you know. I didn't know that you were that nervous before our meeting, <laughs> but I always, um, I, I always had a sense from you that, um, you know, that verbal affirmation was something that would be helpful for you. So it was, yeah, yeah, and verbal and verbal affirmation is a great way to build up even just our peers. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, appreciating people for the good work that they do. And I think we do a really good job of that in Fedora. We try. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so I'm glad that you found this community. I'm so glad that you found this community. And the internship <laughs> was great. I just want to say that Samara did amazing work. She had, she did have an amazing work ethic and worked really, really well with the community. Um, I mean, just, you were like, oh, there's <laughs> friends and people here. I want to be a part of this. Um, yeah. I so wish we could have had Flock this year and brought you out um, yeah. to meet everybody in person. But 
Uh, yes. I think that'll be like next year or whatever. Um, Fingers so, crossed. So I guess um, currently, I just want to ask you a couple questions. So currently, what yeah. what do you do with Fedora? So I'm a member of the design team, and um, so I my uh, what I do is I complete the design tickets, I give reviews, and currently I'm I'm kind of busy because of my exams, so I can I can't. Uh, give so much time yeah. but i try to look at the tickets see if any if there's anything that i can do really quickly recently i designed the uh, poster for the fedora hacktoberfest presentation and uh, gave some reviews so that was fun nice that's awesome um and what do you what do you go to school for Oh, so I am actually pursuing both computer science and design. So I'm pursuing an engineering degree in computer science and design. Uh, so yeah, it's like the best of both worlds, you could say. That's a lot, though. That's a lot to take on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always impressed. And, and hearing about the, the other stuff you've <laughs> done and taken on, so yeah. impressed with all of that. I want to just tell you something, even if you did half of that, you would still be worthy of appreciation and love. Yeah. So you, you, you're, you're, you're a worthy person. Um, <laughs> and I know that I know about imposter syndrome. I've been there and like yeah. coming into Fedora space was as a designer is mm -hmm. very difficult. You know, yeah. I remember going to the first conference and, every single conversation I was like circle I was standing and I didn't understand <laughs> what they were talking about at first. Um, but at the same time, they all knew who I was. They were like, you're a recat Nora. You've made all this artwork. Oh my gosh, I could never do that. You're so talented. But, but you know, like I got credit for that work that I did. And yeah. that, that satisfaction, that like you know, professional kind of satisfaction is definitely yeah. one thing that Fedora can give and help build build the confidence. Yeah, so I remember. I oh, go ahead. Yeah, so I remember during Nest 2020, uh, during Matthew's keynote presentation, I actually saw a couple of my designs in his presentation, and I was so shocked, and it made me really happy. Like that kind that that was really impactful because. Uh, I know it sounds silly. I took screenshots also, showed them to my parents because I was so happy. Um, but it, it sort of made me feel like, okay, so my designs are good enough. My work is good enough to be featured in the FPL's uh, keynote presentation. So I must be doing something right. Like I am yes. actually good enough. <laughs> so yes. yeah, professional appreciation is great. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I've been in jobs where I was micromanaged or, you know, even though I did the good work, the amount of appreciation was little to none. Yeah. And that was, it, it wears on you, you know, and I think it's yeah, more it for environment, professional, and the community like this, definitely. So yeah. we have a script. If you would like to participate, <laughs> yes, I will go. Definitely. Okay, cool. Let me go grab it and copy and paste into the chat. What language will you be speaking? Hindi. Awesome. I, I'm not going to lie. I practiced a little bit. I saw the script in, the, in, in, the, in yesterday's presentation. I was like, okay, I need to practice. <laughs> Perfect. So then you can look right at the camera, hopefully. <laughs> 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 for like a couple of the lines um yeah so whenever you're ready i'm just gonna mute myself so there's no yeah okay uh namaste mera naam smira hai main india se hu aur main ek aurat hu aur main hindi bolti hu we are from different countries we speak different languages we are of different cultures but fedora unites us with open source Yay. And I realized I wanted to add one more thing to the script, which I will do now on um, the official thing. And I also have you say, but we can do it together. Can you say? Okay. <laughs> 
I realized the last the Budapest video has that at the end. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if we can yell it, but I feel like if we just say it loudly and then we, yeah. we merge all the voices together, Voice. it will sound like a shout, right? So <laughs> okay. ready? three, two, one. We are, we are <laughs> Fedora. No, we were off. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You count, you count, you count. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. We, we are, are Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This right. is harder on video. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, try it one more time. Okay. Three, two, one. We, we are Fedora. Fedora. <laughs> I think it should be faster. Like, we are Fedora. Yes, like, we are Fedora. Fedora. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we have so many takes, we can, you know, cut and splice some tracks. <laughs> we okay. will find one. Use there are track. so many lovely comments here. Thank you for sharing. You're amazing. Very authentic. Samara is awesome. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank nice you to read for this. coming and presenting at Fedora Women's Day and participating yeah. throughout the weekend. Um, yeah. We're so lucky to have you <laughs> in Fedora. Oh, I'm lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll yeah. see you around and I'm going to jump off. Yes. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks everyone for joining. I'll also leave, but your words, like reading your comments actually makes me feel really nice. So thank you.